Hey guys, Larry here with Creaky Chair Models. Today I want to talk about a little prototyping board I discovered on Amazon. Um, it's only a few dollars and it really does save you a bunch of time when you're testing sensors and code and servos and everything. And I'm just going to kind of walk you through the product a little bit. It comes to you without the Nano on it. So what I do is I insert the pins into the socket and then I go ahead and solder all of those pins on here using gentle heat. Keep that down to under two seconds and I skip about four before I do the next one and just work my way around until I'm done. Um, if you think you're too close to you know the last few, just wait a minute and do it again. Okay? clean them up with a little alcohol and it just sits right on there perfectly every time. What I like about this board is some of the unique functions. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here and show you what it's got. Alright, so if you look, it's got three sets of pins for each of the outputs and inputs. Okay? It's got a, a plus and minus for the 5 volts out of the Arduino and it has the signal input and if I can zoom in I'll try to get it here yeah there it is there's the signal the voltage is 5 and G is ground so that works out handy for doing servo connections because you don't have to do any fancy wiring and you can hook up the 5 volts and ground from an external power supply over here with just a couple of plugs and all of the unique outputs are also on here <coughs> the Arduino nanos here are relatively inexpensive they carry basically the same power as the Uno although it's a little bit smaller um, this thing also has an external input for the VN which is up to 12 volts and I just picked up these connectors for, you know, like a dollar. I think they were maybe even less. I bought them in bulk because I do a lot of installs. So to show you kind of what I do with the sensors, these are sloppy because they're bench sensors and it really doesn't matter. So I showed you on another video this one, which is a um, an Arduino sensor where I remoted the infrared so it breaks the beam. So what I did is I took a one meter servo extension. Three feet, okay? It's got the servo plug on the end. Well, you'll notice on this sensor right here, the voltage and the ground are reversed compared to the cable. No big deal, you cut the connector off and you just solder them to the appropriate pin. These are actually super glued. There's no way I can ever get a short on here, but since it's for bench testing, it really wasn't all that critical. But it makes it nice because you can just simply take this connector and you can plug it in to whatever pin you want. So if you're not sure, you just plug it in and you can test your code out right there. Now I've done the same with LEDs. I use the same connectors except I just use the signal in the ground and I go ahead and solder the resistor to the LED. So if you want to test an output, you can simply plug it in instead of doing, you do the soldering once instead of a bunch of times. But I've got them on all of the various servo, uh, sensor types I have. See that type? And it's got one right here on the end. It's also set up immediately for a servo. A servo just plugs in at the same, uh, the same way. These things are really great at the price. You can't beat them for prototyping and in many cases it'll save you countless time soldering for an install. So it's not very much bigger. It's about the same size as an Uno. I have an Uno over here uh, with it. Let me move this out of the way and you'll see that I'm set, I set it right on top of the Uno. So uh, the pin alignment is not the same as the UNO. So you can't use this one on top of an UNO. But there are several out there that do work with them. So 
This thing is really cool. That's what it comes like. Okay, um, the Arduino comes with the pins, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, it's got the reset button also right up here on the side, as well as the one on the on the Arduino itself right here in the center. Okay, so a neat little device that will save you countless time for prototyping circuits and uh, doing tests, etc. Again, it's a few dollars. I'll put the link in the description to the Amazon auction on it. I don't make anything on those. I'm just sharing information. Um, again, for quick testing, you cannot beat this product. I'm, I will um, see if I can find the link to the one I use for the, um, for the Uno. I just like the Nano because it's just a little bit smaller.